All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are fishing a spot I've fished like one time before on the channel. But we drove out here, me and Riley, who is over there fishing already. We almost got in a wreck because this lady pulled out in front of us in the lane she shouldn't have been in. You know, basic things that happen every day. But um, now, I have a little thing that I got in the mail today, right here in this box. So I thought what better to do than open it and show you guys a little bit about what's inside it. So I'm gonna swap over there and we're gonna open the box. All right, so we got this big box right here. Um, this is actually um, missing two things in here. Well, it's missing one thing and the other thing is incorrect. So um, I placed a pretty big Guggen Squad order right here. I got this Guggen Squad tackle box, which is actually supposed to be the deep casket. So I just emailed them and we're gonna, I guess, figure it out hopefully. But yeah, this is basically the same one, but it's just not the deep version. So we got this. Then I was supposed to have a hat in here too, but that um, wasn't in there. So trying to get that fixed too. But the rest of the stuff is right and um, let's get into it. So I got some um, Okeechobee crawl, Kraken crawls and the smaller sizes, all the soft plastics in here and the smaller sizes because I haven't got to use them yet and they're not in stores where I'm at. So I went ahead and picked up one of like each. Next, we have the natural bandito bugs, also in the small sizes. Trench hogs, small sizes. This is like green pumpkin summer crawl, I think, so. Then we got what we're probably gonna throw today. These are the Mondo worms in the plum color, and these are actually seven and um, 14th inch, so they're not that big as the 10 inches, so. Then I bought these just specifically for the bass boat because Whenever you're on a lake, you usually fish deeper water. So we have a um, Grande Recon. These things go about 15 to 20 feet. This one is in the Citrus Shad color. So got these specifically for the boat because it's deep water. Next up, we got a little blooper in the um, Shattered Shad color. This is actually a really cool color. Um, can't wait to throw this thing around. Then we got another giant Grande Recon. This one is in the Shotgun Shad color. Um, yeah, this thing looks really nice. This is like probably one of my favorite colors. Then we just have the regular Recon, which is like 8 to 12, so it's still kind of deep. This one's in the Mondo Shad color. Then we got a Nated Shad color in the um, Recon. This one is really cool. It's like a clear kind of brown. Then we have two jigs right here. We have a Rotten Pumpkin Grass Hero and a Black and Blue Jid Iron Jig, which is like the football jig. So yeah, we got a few new baits that I'm gonna use over the channel, but probably today just the Mondo Worms. So yeah, I'm about to rig that up and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so right here we have the old little Mondo Worms. Riley, have you seen these in the new sizes? No. But we got these in the plum color. Look at those, Riley. What are you thinking? Look at that. Nice smaller worm because the fish out here are kind of small, so we're not going to eat like a 10 inch worm. But you know, just shoot it up at the top, throw this on some 50 pound braid, and weedless. There we go. How's that look, Riley? Looks pretty juicy, right? Yeah. Riley, what just happened? Because Riley just had a fish, and I saw him get to the bank, and I have no clue what just happened. So the fish got up to the bank, swam off, and snapped my line. Fish, biggest fish out here, guaranteed. It was like <laughs> that long. It had to have been. I literally watched Riley. He pulled it to like right there, and then it got off. He just threw his rod. It was the funniest thing ever. I'm tired of this. I'm tired. I want to go home. All right, Riley, you have fun tying up a weightless Texas rig because you lost the weight, and I'm gonna go catch your fish that you lost. All right. You have a weight. No. <laughs> you got a drop shot weight you can tie on your Texas rig. See how that works for you. You can throw it weightless. That's not fun. Yes, it, it, it'd probably be better, actually. It's not even that deep out here. This worm looks really good. The smaller version of the Mondo worm, which is, which is pretty good. I, I like big worms, but then again, I like the smaller ones because they're just easier to fish for all of the fish, you know. Not really specifically going out there big ones. All right, back to the car, following Riley. I don't know what the freak he's doing over here. I think he wanted service. I kind of need my rod. 
<laughs> Did you just hit yourself with the door? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. I was coming to get my water, actually. Raleigh has a bad memory with rods in this car. All your fault. It is not my fault. You had the rod in the door. Let's just oh. say it snapped. I blame Riley. He, why would he have his rod in the door anyways? And not tell me. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Okay. Texas rig in the left hand. Moving bait in the right hand. Let's lay this Texas rig down for a second. And see what this little mini banger can do. Got a little Ghost Gill Guggen Squad mini banger. Let's see what happens. This thing goes like one to four foot. So I feel like it's really good for this pond since it's shallow. Did you just break your rod? I thought you I thought you just did. It would not surprise me at all. Oh, I just got a bite. I got one. There we go. Riley, I caught your fish. No, I'm just kidding. It is a good one though. Hey, can you bring me those pliers? I may not even need them. He's only got one hook in him. All right, yeah. All right, first fish on the old Guggen Squad mini banger. Not a bad one. Riley, was yours bigger or smaller? Bigger. bigger? All right. That's all we need to know. There's still a big daddy out here. All right, I can't get real far, but see you, guy. If I catch one off this point, maybe catch the bottom. I feel it hitting. All right, here we go. Oh, I just watched that. That was insane. What the heck? That was crazy. Oh my gosh, that's a good one too. I just watched him, bro. He just smoked it right at the bank. That was crazy. He's crazy too. Look at that. He was not happy. Let's go ahead and pop out the old Guggen pliers in my pocket that are probably stuck. Oh, no, got them. All right, not another one. That's bigger than the first one. So we have a new leader. Look at that. He hit it right at the bank. That was crazy. All right, let's get a little release. Oh, I can actually get down over here to get a release. That's pretty cool. With this, oh, it's kind of quick mud, quick sand. See you, guy. Wow, that's two. Hey, Rylan. What's up? Why are you coming over here? To catch your fish. <laughs> you want to bet I'll catch him? What are you gonna do if I pull one up and it has the hook in its mouth? You're gonna jump in the pond. We'll see how accurate that is. We'll see if you're mean in business or not. All right, Riley, you ready to hit the second pond? He said not at all. Don't know why. That's cool. Remember the um, journey we took last time to get over here? Oh, really? That's cool. About to sink in some mud. All right, Riley, what's what's the plan here? Is that solid ground? If I can walk on it, you can. <laughs> you say that? Wow, it was not like this last time. Last time we had to, like, do parkour to get to this spot. Also, watch out for snakes. I'd rather not encounter. Well, then I probably shouldn't go back here. Nope, come on. <laughs> it's, it's it's good. You just gotta, you just gotta watch out, you know? All right. Do you actually? Like it it actually looks blue over here. Raleigh looks thinks it's dyed. It, it does look a lot different than last time. It doesn't look like there's much grass either. I don't know. It's kinda weird. You don't catch it, I will. I felt like I just got a bite. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, he's running with it. Got him. Yung. Here he is. Let's go, Riley. Oh, bottom of the lip. Is that a hook poking me? Oh, it is. That's cool. I'm going to go get it. it. It's still over there. It's moved twice. Okay, we just got to watch for snakes. I am not trying to get bit by a snake. Okay.
we're, we're what's what's plan here? We gotta have that leverage. That's that's the whole point. Oh, the shade. Hello. Feels good over here. How's it how's it feel standing in the sun over there? Not even in the sun. Well, I have really high leverage. This is pretty cool. Could probably hit Riley from up here. <laughs> next Yo, time. Right. Next time Riley gets on this phone, I'm gonna shoot one at him. You said what? <laughs> hey now uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have more control than you do that's why I don't trust you all right we just got done fishing because it's super hot out right now it's kind of middle of the day kind of afternoonish it's like what it just hit five o'clock I don't know it's really hot but me and Riley are about to go get ready and we're gonna go eat somewhere and um yeah you know just the perfect end off of day of fishing and filming um you guys saw the box um, I have a few more things that I gotta show you guys. Um, I have a money bag bundle that I'm gonna do a video on soon. I have a Japanese frog. I have two of the Guggen Squad popping frogs on the way too. And then I think I ordered something. Oh yeah, I'll probably get my hat and my tackle box that were not included in the box that I opened today. I guess they got left out. You know how shipping is sometimes you get stuff sometimes you don't but we're gonna get it figured out but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one